Peace. This is a meat and potato sorcery production starring myself, the Warrior Alchemist, and today's topic for the occult family is wording questions. When you put forth a question to any spirit, irrespective of angels or demons, you have to be very clear exactly what you're trying to communicate to that angel or demon. Because remember, many of these angels and demons have not been human beings. So you can't just come from the perspective of, well, they should automatically know what I'm trying to say. No, they've never been human. So how would they know that? And I've made this mistake. So this is why getting a teacher and a mentor with integrity is very important. And I will hopefully like to nominate myself. But back to the topic. I remember reading a book and anyone, no matter how skilled you are or how great you think you can communicate, sometimes you will forget things because you feel daft or you may be intimidated by a certain spirit. So it's definitely important that you be confident and respectful, but be able to elucidate your point of what you're trying to get from your query. So I remember reading this book called Towards an Ebo Metaphysics. This book is very old and out of print probably, but it can probably be procured on Amazon. But someone from the West came and he wanted to talk to a Igbo priest, an elder metaphysician. And one thing about being in the West, especially if we've been educated there, we bring over this arrogance. And he basically has said to the elder, well, when I asked you this question, why didn't you answer it? And the elder just point blank said, because you didn't word your question correctly. And he paused. So it's very important that you word it correctly. Another example. I remember when I was going through the clip off. Now, me being silly, what did I do? This was years ago. I said, should I practice the clip off? So they was like, no. Now, what they didn't tell me. Till later on with like Astaroth and Unsair, that's my matron demoness, I didn't word it correctly. They were like, how, how could you practice the clip off when you already going through the tunnels of set now? See what I mean? I didn't ask it correctly. So it was like, oh, should you practice it? Oh, no, absolutely. No, no, you, you, you shouldn't practice it. How are you going to practice something that you're already experiencing? And... Another thing that my angel, one of my angels, Raziel, had put forth to me when I asked about the clip off. She's like, yeah, you already went through the clip off. So I asked her. She's an angel. And, of course, Unsair and Astaroth. They said, like, yeah, you went through it. Now, what's very important is that Raziel is seen as a fallen angel. So I had to put the question to her and be very direct. I said, are you a fallen angel? She was like, no. And I said, well, were you ever cast down with other angels? And she was emphatically like, no. So there you go. So asking questions, you have to know how to word it. Because one thing about angels and demons is that they're only going to give you information that you can handle at that particular moment. But if you don't know how to ask questions... You'll just really just, you'll get strung along and then you just like become frustrated. And the purpose is not for you to get frustrated. The purpose is you learning the correct modus operandi of doing things, even on a spiritual level. So never, ever forget that. So that is the importance of how to not only ask a question, but how to word it so you can get an answer that will help you along in your journey. So with that, that is your meat and potato sourcing for the day. I am the Water Alchemist. Be water, my friends. Peace.